guys, so we're heading to the Isle of Lundy. I'm running a bit late, so need to make up some time. We're already like on time for the uh, ferry. Well, we were. This is not raining, guys. Look at that tread. Look at all that tread going to waste. Speed, but only on these tires. <laughs> hey, we're back on the road. A granite outcrop three miles long and half a mile wide, Lundy Island is located just off the coast of North Devon, where the cool, clear waters of the Atlantic Ocean meet the estuary waters of the Bristol Channel. It's accessible by ferry and helicopter. The ferry runs every two or three days and costs £85 if you're staying on the island overnight or £45 if you're visiting just for the day. Getting a helicopter is obviously the pricey option for all the flashbackers among us, coming in at £149 per person. The option to fly there and ferry back is also available for £135. More information on pricing and a sailing timetable can be found on the link in the description below. The ferry departs from either Biddeford or Ilfracombe, depending on the tides. Some sailings depart from one port and return to the other, again due to tides. For those occasions, a coach transfer to the original port is available for £7.50 per person. The coach can be booked when buying the ferry ticket. The ferry takes between 70 and 90 minutes, depending on the conditions. What is up guys welcome back to i'm so craigy and today we're on the isle of lundy also come and check out this view the island is part of the national trust and has very few facilities it's home to three lighthouses, a church, a post office, a tavern, a convenience store, a museum, a campsite and more with a small population of just 28 people. There is a large generator which powers the tiny village but electricity shuts off at midnight every night. There are also numerous holiday properties that you can stay in if you want to stay the night and you don't feel like camping. With all the history and everything that's gone on in Lundy, surprised they had room for the museum from honest you. <laughs> Let's have a look inside. Wow. Look at that. Lundy is known for its large population of Atlantic grey seals, as well as a variety of other wild and feral animals, such as puffins, which can be mostly found at Jenny's Cove, Highland cattle, soy sheep, deer, cows, and chickens, and. Wait, 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 wait! It's a wild tractor. Shh, don't scare it, they scare it. Hey, little buddy. It's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. It's a paradise if you're a nature lover who loves hiking. It's also popular amongst rock climbers and is home to the UK's largest continuous slab climb called the Devil's Slide. But we came here for one thing and that's to swim with seals. Get out of the way, Paige! <laughs> <laughs> 
Lundy Island is one of the best places in the UK to go diving. The company that runs the Swimming with Seals also offers Diving with Seals. The company is called Wild Frontier. A link to their website can be found in the description below. The tour costs 90 quid and includes pickup from Ilfracombe or Biddeford, meaning you won't need to pay for the ferry to the island on top of that. Optional extras they offer are wetsuit hire, snorkel and mask hire and fin hire, costing £10 each. It was an amazing experience and I highly recommend it. Did you buy an entire pot as well? Did you buy a pot for yourself when you tried it? No, it was just a pot for it. Oh. <laughs> Doggy ice cream. Nice. It's actually alright, yeah. <laughs> Not bad at all. See? <laughs> So yeah, swimming with seals, it was bloody awesome. It was like a hell of a life experience. Lundy was, well, it's a nice island. If you're into nature, you like hiking and... Animals, big on animals. Yeah. Big and furry balls. Big furry balls, there was lots of wildlife. Did <laughs> you say balls or balls? What did you say? I said balls, you said balls. I thought you said balls, I was just going along with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so big furry balls. Big furry balls, and there's some, some horned cows as well, what are they called again? So they're bulls. Oh, bulls. Yeah. So yeah. they're not there. No, it's just, just the furry bulls. Yeah, there's loads of furry testicles everywhere. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching the video. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed already. I really need my subscriber count to grow. These videos are very costly and they take me a lot of time to, to film and edit. And, um, so I really need your support. All it takes from you is to subscribe, so I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. Check out my Instagram while you're at it. And in the meantime, guys, see you on the next video. Cheers. Subscribe. Cheers, Patch. Yeah, what she said.
they're just so curious they come up to you they sniff your feet they just like swim around they dance around you and they come close to your face oh oh my god <laughs> what type of flooring is this <laughs> <laughs> Happy? Yeah. As you know, this morning on our way to Lundy, the, we had a blowout on the tyre, got that fixed. And now, on our way home, the clutch has gone on my car. So we have to get it recovered. We're in Devon right now. We have to get it recovered all the way to South Wales. I'm not even going to tell you how much that's costing me, but fucking odds and I, clutch and tyre in one day. So guys, if you're going to the Isle of Lundy, make sure you've got your tyres on point and your clutch is on point. And you've got RAC. <laughs> yeah, make sure you have roadside recovery, because I didn't and it's costing me a bomb. There it is. There's the car back home. It's the next day now, by the way. We had to stay in Devon last night.